Gavin Crook from Highways England on uh, sponsorship. We obviously highlighted that uh, customers are now becoming quite a big imperative within Highways England, but there's a more of a focus on the public aspect of it rather than the stakeholder aspect. So just really a bit of an insight as to how you think we could do that better uh, from each of the panel. The reason behind, the rationale behind even doing the 55 mile an hour and 60 mile an hour trials um, came about as a result of listening to our customers. So, so, they, were the, so they were the stakeholder group um, we, were, we were looking to uh, provide these solutions for. Um, and then, you know, what we're also demonstrating is that we, we don't work alone and we had to work with additional stakeholder groups to deliver that. So, um, we listened very carefully to the, um, you know, the data that was coming out, the, the you know, voices that were coming out um, from, uh, you know, the uh, road user surveys that we were, we were undertaking. Um, TRL, who did uh, the monitoring for us, also took sample checks um, from drivers before uh, the trial went on place and, and, uh, and afterwards. And whilst they might be a bit more sort of anecdotal, um, again, they, they provided us with very good, very good insight. Um, again, we, we work with a number of, of groups, and, and I know gentlemen from Tra Transport Focus is here. Um, again, very much sort of pushing the agenda for the for the for the road user. All of that, um, you know, was, was absolutely valid input to the design and what was coming out of the other the other end on this trial. Jer, I don't know if you've got any points to raise on um, uh, talking to the public. You know, how, how do you get to them for a start in the situation where they're, they're not coming to you? Yeah, so, is this on? Yeah. Yeah. So, so first of all, you need to have the resource to do it. So, whether that's a stakeholder engagement team or well usually it's a stakeholder engagement team or, or a public affairs team with stakeholder engagement as part of that or community engagement ideally if you're going direct to the public and you need to identify who the communities are so the ones who are directly impacted by your project or by your organization and also then the more strategic groups who who represent the end customer and they've got an interest because they represent disabled people or they represent young people or they represent business and you need to make sure you've got the resource to do it because there's no point in going out and sort of half talking to people and then not following it up or starting to build a relationship and then forgetting about it because in some ways that's almost worse than almost as bad as not talking to them at all but yeah identify who the community groups are and then go out and and work with them to help you reach the communities so so groups that work with hard to reach people so so there's lots of youth sector organizations for example that work to work with hard to reach young people how do you capture the road users that are much further afield than where the locality of the projects are because that's the main users of the strategic road network we would certainly do our best but I, I think you're absolutely right to highlight that um, even though most journeys on the SRN are pretty short there'll be lots of you know users of that stretch of the M1 up in Barnsley and Leeds and down in Mansfield who are actually I think to be honest I think they're tr the true hard to reach groups in all this it's extraordinarily difficult to communicate to your users uh, collectively what you're doing on something actually like this 60 mile an hour trial which is more complex than it perhaps looks at, at, at first sight um, and whilst Transport Focus can um, uh, carry out some sort of limited um, uh, research around user views mainly at a sort of national or, or regional level I think it's crucial for initiatives around specific schemes such as this that you're carrying out more targeted research which does try very hard to get to the, the actual users of the scheme. Forget about the stakeholder organisations because they will really have a different set of interests. You, you, you do need to establish what the, the, the people actually going through the scheme think. Uh, I think on the whole with this particular one you've done a good job with the, the TRL research which I think was you know very detailed and considered um, but it, it needs as far as possible to be re replicated for other schemes and other trials as well. Andrew Hugo from CIHT. Um, I'm just really interested in Highways England. You, you've got this whole focus on the customer now, and and it's about engaging with the customer and uns, understanding their needs. It, it, it strikes me that as 
a provider of a service, you've got a really difficult job because you're relying on your customers to do things properly for your service to work properly. So how are you thinking about that next step of not only engaging with customers but actually involving them in the customer doing things better, if I can put it that way? You're, you're, you're right. It's, non, it's an ongoing discussion. Um, so, you know, and every road user has a, has a different different need um, and, and uh, you know, a different set of objectives. So, you know, those, um, you know, there are a group of road users who sort of say, well, look, just, just close the motorways overnight and, and do your works then. Um, obviously, that's when a majority of the freight uh, takes place. Um, there's also uh, uh, sort of differing demands um, on, on sort of stakeholders, depending on, on whether you are a road user and you're local, and, and, and therefore you're also a neighbour, or, or whether you're sort of passing passing through. And again, people can have very very different needs. So if you are a stakeholder or a neighbour that's on um, you know diversion route, for example, um, you, you know you have a very different set of needs to, to um, you, you know, drivers using the network. Because of that, um, and we've been better at engaging with the stakeholders, the neighbours, do you know what I mean? You know, when we do our public information exhibitions, um, you, you know, we, we previously were much more geared and set up for, you know, the impact that we might have had on uh, the locality and people, leave, you know, living close by, um, the local councils and, 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 you know, other other users than we were with, with the, the, the drivers. One of the important um, investments, uh, changes that have sort of taken place with the customer coming up the agenda um, is that we do a lot more work in harnessing um, a wide variety of drivers' views, but also, you know, um, so with the surveys that Transport Focus do, we also have our, our sort of road user um, analysis unit uh, who, who regularly do surveys. Um, we engage much more. Uh, you'll see Twitter now, you know, we, we're using a range of medium where, where people can give us their views on, on particular issues. Um, you'll see schemes now that have got Facebook accounts. All of those, all of those things is, is, is about, you know, um, harnessing and getting the information that we can. So, um, you know, I've probably used this phrase a couple of times today because the more information that you've got, the better you can be informed in your decision making. So I'm not saying that we've you know, we've, we've absolutely sort of cracked it, um, but but there is a real commitment to carrying on, sort of working on that and, and getting it better and better. Okay. And any more questions? Um, Joe, was there anything you wanted to add about um, consultation or stakeholder management? Well, just that. So obviously, yes, very important to reach the customer and the the methods that Lorraine talked about there. I completely agree mm. with them all but also just another point to make that actually the strategic stakeholders can help you reach the customer as well so in terms of I'm thinking of business representative groups for example because business is also your customer business is a user of the strategic road network so so you know I think I think it's a it's a coordinated approach it's those techniques that help you to reach the customer directly those techniques that help you to reach the groups that represent the customer and yeah thank you very much <laughs> <laughs>